Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Chrysler and welcome to all my returning subscribers. Today I'm doing a review on the Briogeo Curl Charisma Curl Defining Travel Kit and this retails for $25 and I decided to pick it up because I wanted to see what their curly hair products were like and this kit includes everything that is in it. So it has the shampoo, conditioner, gel, and cream. I'm just going to go through each product, tell you about it, and let you know about my user experience because it's quite different from what I usually use and I'll just touch base on what I do use because I think it'll give you a better idea of what I'm used to in comparison to this so let's get started so first off I love this little pouch it's very cute it's like a very thick scuba material and the zipper is very smooth inside you get two fluid ounces in the rice amino and avocado hydrating shampoo and conditioner. And these have no sulfates, no parabens, and no silicones, which is what I look for in hair care products. So I've been using the Diva Curl Original No Poo um, Zero Lather Conditioning Cleanser, and then the Daily Cream Conditioner. And I've been loving those. I've used them for probably nine months, and I absolutely love them. So that's what I'm used to. They have a lot of slip. Even with the shampoo, I can detangle my hair. So the shampoo definitely feels more like a traditional shampoo. It has a very pearly consistency, so it reminds me like of the shampoos I used growing up, and it does lather up. This has no harsh sulfates, so it still has some. I think before I said there wasn't any, but that's wrong. No harsh ones, and it definitely lathers up, so I can't detangle my hair with this stuff like I would my deep curl stuff, which is fine um, because this is still a clean beauty brand. It does the job, it definitely washes my hair, and it has a nice lightweight feel, which is definitely the selling point. This line is supposed to give your curls life and have a lightweight feel, so if you're into that, um, I think this is for you. The conditioner is not my favorite. The user experience is not as luxurious like I definitely like that slippery feeling and this did not really provide me with it so detangling my hair was not as easy as I would like it to be um, this one has no sulfates but this is moisturizing for your hair has great ingredients but it's not my thing really but I will finish it up because obviously I have it or I might just save it for when I do travel moving on to the styling products you get the tiny amount of 22 mls these tiny little things and this is not enough for me I already finished up the gel I think I got two uses out of it and then the cream I haven't used up I used it today and I actually used another gel that I have on top because it's very similar I'll get into it later but my hair definitely dried the same as it did using these two so it's very like lightweight I love that um, you can't really feel the weight yes I do have a haircut and there's more volume to it now, but that's like what I want. So this is the same result as I would get if I was using these two. But the gel that I did use is the um, Carol's Daughter Pocaxi Nectar, and this is the same like concept, touchable hold, prevents frizz, um, has like oils in it. And I did actually do a video just on this product last year, I believe. So I'll put a little card so you can check that out. And yeah, it gives the same exact result. The only thing is, do not, do not mix the cream with that because as I was raking it through my hair, I saw it starting to ball up on my hands and it looked like when you use a chemical exfoliant on your face and then it like pills up your dead skin, that's what it looked like. But I don't see it anymore, so. It's very strange, I don't know. So for styling with these two products, I did it in the regular order that I like to do things. So I go in with a moisturizer. The one I usually use is the Maui Moisture Curl Quench and Coconut Curl Smoothie. <laughs> and then over that, I go in with the Diva Curl Super Stretch, Super Stretch Coconut Curl Elongator. This is such a long name, I don't even know why. So I went in with the cream first and then the gel. And the cream is definitely nice. I like the way it feels. It feels very soft and silky, but the gel, this is the cream. But the gel, it feels like you're not putting anything in your hair, which is really annoying because as you're raking through, you're like, I hope I put in enough product so when it all dries, it looks great. But you really don't know if you put in enough product because it just feels like wet hair. It's so confusing to me. Because this, you can definitely tell it's like a cream slash gel and it's white and this is clear, the gel. So that's why it's very similar to this. 
because this is also clear. So overall, if you like lightweight hair, I think that you'll like this line. Um, I'm not really sure if it's for people that like go days and detangle their hair and have a lot of tangling to do in the shower because I definitely do that. I wear my hair up to work, so my hair definitely goes through like a detangling process when I'm in the shower. So the conditioner and shampoo are not my favorite. I probably will finish it up and I will not be repurchasing the full size. I like the cream and the gel, but it's definitely a learning curve. And I like the way my hair dries. Like I love touchable, soft curls. I think it's just something that I'd have to get used to. So those are my thoughts on the Brogio Curl Charisma line. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I will leave some links to my curly hair routine that I like to do. It might be a little bit different because my hair is a different chop, but I still think it's very helpful. Please subscribe to see more hair videos or if you just like me and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Brogio Curl Defining, what? Brogio Curl Charisma Kit. <laughs>